Good afternoon, 1st of September today. Uh, I've had quite a few questions in the last week or two about how to put leaks back to seed. So I thought we'd do a, a quick video, maybe just a five minute video on actually putting stock plants or plants back for stock for future years. Uh, if you look at leak plants, basically we start them off usually around about September, October time. We grow them through the winter and plant them in the spring. We grow them through that season for exhibition purpose or for eating purpose, whichever. Uh, in the autumn, any time from late August through until the end of September is the time to put leeks back to seed uh, for like stock plants for the following year. So it actually takes two years from setting the first initial um, seed or uh, grass to putting them back, well, getting fresh grass again from them. As you can see from the ones behind me, these have got grass on. I'll turn you around and I'll show you what we're actually looking for in the format of seed. Right, I'll see if I can enlarge this a little bit because I'm stood in the next aisle. Right, you can see the seed plants through there. Uh, these still haven't been shaved. Uh, as I say, we're on the 1st of September today. There's some over there. Some have been shaved and once you shave them, basically I'll explain the, the process. After the 12 months, we put them back to seed. After the second 12 months, they throw a, a stem up, which is what we see here. Uh, they throw king pods on the bottom, which is what we also see here. This stem comes all the way up to produce a head on the top. And these are the, the heads that we are looking at. Usually it produces seed, which is what we've got on the opposite side. A head of seed. You can see there's a little bit of grass coming out of some of those. If we don't want seed, which the exhibitors uh, prefer to grow from clones, which is a, a vegetative cutting. I'll just bring this back down. This is what we're looking for. Uh, nice grass on the plants. And as we can see, there's some wonderful heads here. These have had all the, sh the seed removed. They've had been shaved off. And um, this is what we end up with. So this is what we're actually looking for in 12 months time from now. Some of my friends have actually um, had their shows. And they've brought some leaks up here back for me. Because I, I do farm a few out. And I will show you how we put them back to seed. Uh, we've got some blanched leaks in here, I'll just get out. There was a friend brought me these up at the weekend. I haven't done them as yet, but we're doing, gonna do them now. Right, this is what we're looking at. These have been in shows. Um, we're gonna cut the main stem off. I've done one completely already. We've removed the root. As you can see on all of these, they will be severed in half, as we can see here. And by doing so, we get rid of any pest or disease. There's been a bit of rust on there. There's been a little bit red uh, red spider on there. There's been a bit of thrip on this one. By doing this, we remove everything, get rid of all the pests and disease. And you see, it's a fair size leak. It's already had quite a bit stripped off, but it's mainly that green core in the center that we're looking for. So it doesn't matter how big the leak is, we're going to take it down to almost that. You can see there, uh, that doesn't leave too much. I've actually put a knife in, you can see down the sides where I've split them. Uh, I've removed quite a bit, and as we can see, I've removed a lot around the base, and this is where the new root will come from. So what I now do, rather than pop them straight up, a uh, nice clean bucket, clean water in, and I have put some fungicide in, uh, I've used Rovro, uh, but you can use any fungicide you can get your hands on and just place them about an inch into that and I'm going to do that with all of them and they'll stay in here for a few days uh, I'll check them after day two or three and each day I'll just come and take a look and uh, once we've had a look they will start to grow as we can see these these were cut clean off these are fairly big blanched leaks I'm going to remove the root. Um, I would normally cut them down a little bit shorter than that, but on this instance, the centre growth started to come away, so I'll not do too much more to that. I'll pull a few leaves off, uh, and we'll put those in the water as well. Right, I'm going to turn the camera back around. We'll put it in the holster, and I'll just show you quickly. I hope you can see there, because it's on a little tripod. Right, we take a leak, take a knife, a short knife, and 
not easy. I've got a big knife and I can't find it. It's ideal for this job. Right, so we've cut the top off. As you can see, I've cut the roots off. We look for that nice green core down the centre. I'll take my knife, I hope you can see this, and I'll cut in several flags on all four sides. Knife down. If you look, I'm removing all of those leaves off. These will all slowly decay. You may as well get them up before they start to decay. I do this with my onions as well. And uh, we'll just remove a few more. And if you take a look at that, you can see I've removed all that off. And this is actually where your new root will come from. Take, remove that right down. So again, that will go in the water. Make sure you mark them so you know what they are. I know what all of these are. They will get marked. We'll just do a blanch leak. This year's root already served its purpose and it will die off, so you may as well remove it. As you can see, I've removed that. I'm going to cut this one off just to show you because we'll come back perhaps in a week and I'll show you the difference in a week so again and as you can see nice green core this is a blanch leak but I am still gonna remove a fair bit from it This is my system. I'm not saying it's uh, perfect, but you do. You've seen all the stock plants that I grow, and I have best success by doing this. Some people put the entire leak back; they just cut some of the foliage down. But this is the way I like to do it. As you can see, I've removed quite a bit there, and by doing so, we get a better root around here. And it's that green core which will pop out and we'll see in a week or two just how they're getting on and that will be put away for the winter again straight into the bucket uh, which has got well I use rubber but any fungicide would do so as you can see there uh, I hope that's explained the process of putting them back the seed the potting which they'll go into I'll start them off in a small pot they'll go into a three litre pot once I see a bit side root coming out of the, the container there I'll pot them up and what I I've actually started to do a mix it's a bag of multi-purpose a bag of John Innes if you can see that I'm not sure I've got the camera the wrong way around perhaps and I've put eight ounces of Terra Plus in as we can see and that's my mix uh, three litre pots that'll get potted up into that uh, maybe it's in a week's time and then maybe it's about a fortnight's time we'll come and take a look and I'm quite certain that the roots will be through the pots and we'll once they're well through we'll move them up into the final containers which could be 10 litre pots for seeding in uh, that's perfect uh, actually while you're here I'll show you a few seedlings it's probably the last time that I'll do this um, because these will be getting chopped down and you'll not get a chance to see what they look like so we'll just take a little look again we'll turn the camera around right this is a pot leak seedling uh, well it's actually from a blanch leak so it was a blanch leak seedling which remained as a pot leak there is a, a mark to be removed there but these skins are all come off lovely straight leak very nice um, decent size it's not massive but it's just grown in a container it wasn't grown for exhibition purpose it was just grown for stock to see if we could get something new from it it's very round it's nice and short it could make a really good pot leak for two years well this time next year another one which i actually colored up as a blanch leak and i have followed this through the season it's got very long foliage 
roughly six foot either side five to six foot so it makes roughly a, a 12 foot span which could be a problem for some people but it's got beautiful form to it and as you can see another fantastic leak this is over 15 inches around um, at the present moment it's about seven inches long but I did have this collared for a blanch leak and when I found out it wasn't going to make it for a blanch leak I stripped a few foliage off uh, took the, all the collars off and dropped it right down and it remained under six inches for quite a while it's just popped up I've just removed the collars I've, I have had nine inch collars on as you can see I've just removed them to take a look at it it's another superb leak um, whether it makes a pot leak or an intermediate leak I'm not sure but I will definitely be growing this one in future uh, it's a winner for me and I think it's going to be a one to contend with I'm going to put you on hold and walk through into another area and show you some of the blanch leaks which I'm going to keep from seedlings as well right we're down in the bottom tunnel which is the stock house as you can see all the collars have been removed uh, these were, I did most of them last night and we'll just take a look these again will be cut completely off so we've got one they're only grown in 15 litre containers this is a very nice leak nice foliage none of them have got suckers none of them have got faulted centers they're all very straight I have stripped a few foliage off them that's two this one's popped its button since I actually stripped it down but it was again it was a beautiful leak nice foliage three another one beautiful foliage nice and straight very nice that's four another that's five six another one that's popped its button since last night this is a was a big very big leak a good length uh, almost 20 inches in length again beautiful foliage on it and another which was very nice really nice leaks and another which I took the color off this one about a week ago it's just, just slightly tainted now because I've had the color off it and it's starting to uh, the, the white's gone out of it but uh, that was my guideline uh, so there's one two three four five six seven eight there's nine there uh, very unusual to set a batch of seed away and get nine good plants from it I have a few more which I'm not rating as top uh, quality but these I do think we have a, an opportunity to get some new plants from and I'll probably select them down to six plants and then we'll see the heads on them what we get back from them and take grass from them so hopefully we'll have some new blanch leaks uh, without any flaws for uh, this time next year so it would be 2023 before we actually grow them that's perfect uh, little look there as I say just to try and bring you up to date with seeding leaks uh, I'll keep you informed maybe another fortnight we'll do another little uh, post show you how the stock plants are coming on uh, I'll also do a post for the Northeast Horticultural Society we have our show coming up not this weekend but the following weekend it's a fairly large event hopefully it's well supported as it has been in previous years and we'll put a few posts on from there. Thank you very much now. We'll see you all again. Bye-bye.